Hey soccer players, today's foundation is soccer fitness. And we're doing a ball circuit. So all the time I hear from players, oh, I need all this fancy gym equipment. No, you don't. Oh, I need 500 yards of space. No, you don't. With about seven steps and two soccer balls, I'm gonna show you how you can get a great workout in. We're gonna once again do a 10 minute circuit. We're gonna do five different exercises, 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds, work for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds. And then in the 10 minutes, you're gonna be faster, stronger, and just overall a better soccer player and more athletic. So the first one we're doing, all you need is one soccer ball. What we're gonna do is a two foot at hop, but your other foot's gonna be on the ball. So you go for 30 seconds, my left foot's on the ground, my right foot's on the ball, and you go hop, 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 hop. And you really wanna make sure you're sort of dropping the shoulder and a good push off from this leg. Once again, if you do this, you're not getting much out of it. That's a lot different from someone going bam, 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 and they're driving that leg. Do it for 30 seconds, rest, do it again for 30 seconds. I'll go this way just to show you. So you're, this foot is just resting on the ball. 90%, 90% of my weight is on this leg. So do it for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds. Part two, push-ups, one hand on the ball, one hand not on the ball. So my right hand goes on the ball, my left hand goes on the ground, down, up, down, up. I'll go sideways, make sure your chest hits the grass, make sure your butt isn't up in the air or dropping, so you have a nice straight back, and you do it in a nice rhythm for 30 seconds. Rest for 30 seconds, left hand on the ball, right hand on the grass, down, up, down, up. Once again, I'm going sideways, down, up, straight back, chest to the ground, come on up. What's great about that is it really works on the stabilizer muscles in your chest. Much better for soccer players, the body weight exercises, what all the pros do, not a ton of the the equipment with the weights and the machines and the, that's not game-like. This keeps it game-like. Although you shouldn't be doing push-ups on the ball in the game, I suppose. But it makes your muscles more game-like. Number two, two soccer balls for this. If you don't have two soccer balls, use a cone. One, two, three, four, five, six, about seven steps, 30 seconds of work, and you have to work. We're gonna sprint. Touch, sprint, touch. The idea is you're at full speed by the time you get the other ball. So you're getting up to max speed and then you're ready to go back the other way. Change direction, something happens in the game. If you're doing this, you get nothing out of it. So, the matter ball, you start, you go across. Short stutter steps to get up to speed. Those choppy feet until you hit your stride. Do that for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds, do it again for 30 seconds. So again, I'll face this way. Your first couple steps are shorter until they start opening up. So you touch, good push off this leg, short steps, then open up, 30 seconds, then you rest for 30 seconds again. Now, 30 seconds of ab twists. So, you can just sit on the ground, feet, knees together, lift them up, oh, four or five inches off the ground. Tap, tap. I'm leaning back at about a 45 degree angle. What I see all the time is soccer players doing this. Ah, slow, core work, your core is in control. You're leaning back 45 degrees. Your chest is up, so you're not slunk. You're going tap, tap. I'll go sideways. Knees are off the ground together, about four or five inches off the ground. Tap, tap. I'm leaning back at 45 degrees, but my chest is up. Do that for 30 seconds, slow and controlled. 30 seconds, rest 30 seconds, 30 seconds again, rest 30 seconds. Last one, 
a skill we all forget about in soccer all the time, balance. When you're kicking the ball, you're on one leg. When you're passing the ball, you're on one leg. You need to have balance on your leg. So holding the ball, we're gonna do a little yoga, a little movement. So I'm gonna start on my left leg, I'll go sideways first. I'm gonna stand, my right knee up, hold the ball, my legs parallel to the ground. Oh, and I come into this like warrior three. I wanna hold it for a second or two. Then I come back up. Then I go back down and I go one, two. If you go, oh, and you fall, no big deal. Reset, parallel the ground, this leg. One, two, come back up. Try not to touch the toe of the ground. Work on your balance, work on your power. Do the left leg for 30 seconds, then switch. Right leg's on the ground, my left leg's up. Parallel, go to that warrior three of one, two. Come back up. One, two, oh, I'm bouncing. There we go. You stumble, it's part of it. Five moves, do each one twice. 10 minutes of work, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. At the end of that 10 minutes, you're gonna be tired, we're gonna have some fun, and you're gonna get better. 